Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. I'm here to discuss the subject of electrical forensics and that is stray voltage exposures. And on the right we have a meter that's currently reading the voltage on the electrical grounding system as referenced to a non-electrified ground rod in my back garden. And this meter here is actually going to read the current in milliamps as we put some resistors into that circuit. So we're going to start off with the resistor that's generally regarded as the industry standard, the 470 ohm resistor. We're going to connect it in. And this is supposed to simulate a wet dairy cow. And the limit that they say for action is a milliamp. So you can see that we're actually reading 1.5 milliamps. So we're actually far over that milliamp limit with our wet dairy cow connected in to the system. So I'm going to take that out and you'll notice that the voltage also dropped. So the next one is going to be a 330 ohm resistor that we're going to connect in. So this is like two dairy cows. So let's see how much current two dairy cows generates. And stray voltage is extensively developed from the dairy industry because it's known to make the farmers, the families and the animals sick. I've actually noticed that I actually have it on my tile floors and if I walk around barefoot on my tile floors for a few weeks I can get like really crazy heart arrhythmia and I can stop that by simply putting on a pair of shoes so I can turn heart arrhythmia on and off at my property regarding my electrified floors. So this one's 220 ohms so this is probably equivalent to like three cows. Let's see what we get. Uh, just trying to get a good connection. Okay, should be connected right now. Okay, so we're getting 2.62 milliamps, and you'll notice on the right we're down at 0.6 volts. Now that 0.6 volts on the right is actually over the industry limit for stray voltage, so. And we're actually stressing the system right now with this resistor. This resistor is far lower than what is required. So when we're getting 0.6 volts AC on the grounding system, we, it means we have quite a serious stray voltage problem occurring. So let's try 100 ohm. So we have our 100 ohm connected in. And you can see the current's much higher, as you would expect. So we've got 3.85 milliamps. And that's around where the human starts to feel a shock sensation. And uh, for a human, it gets really serious around 7 or 8 milliamps. You, you can start causing very weird conditions in the heart with exposure to several milliamps and upwards. And 20 milliamps will kill a human. So these low current values are things that you need to pay attention to. So that's stray voltage on my home electrical system when we have between 0.8 and 0.9 volts AC on the grounding system. So you can see that we can actually pull current off the system that exceeds the one milliamp actionable standard in the dairy industry and our voltage actually exceeds the 0 0.5 volts AC actionable standard in the dairy industry as well. So that's my home electrical system for you. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.